The Miami Heat have pulled off a sign and trade to receive the NBA champ and six-time All-Star Kyle Lowry. The greatest Raptor of all time is the most underrated player in basketball and was considered the biggest domino of the 2021 free agent class. Does Kyle Lowry make the Miami Heat contenders? Here's what fans in South Beach have in store for them. Before continuing, over three quarters of the people who watch this channel are not subscribed, so if you're looking for consistent NBA content, you're in the right place. Also, to be friends, follow me on Instagram at dflowhoops. With Lowry going to the Heat, the 35-year-old's legendary tenure as a Toronto Raptor has come to an end. First and foremost, as a Raptor fan, I just want to say thank you to Kyle for laying everything out there on the line, and I mean that literally. Lowry's been top five in charges drawn in every season since 2017-18. North Philly's finest isn't just about getting buckets and facilitating, the guy loves doing the dirty work. So all around, I can say confidently to Miami Heat fans that you're acquiring a gem, not to mention a class act off the floor. Lowry's Holiday Assist was a program that Kyle ran every Christmas for underprivileged children in Toronto. On the court, he was the driving force behind the franchise, making seven straight playoff appearances. He's Toronto's franchise leader in steals, assists, and triple doubles, so as a diehard fan of his for nearly a decade, thank you, K. Lau. We'll miss you in Toronto. Having said that, I'm happy that Kyle's joining a team with championship expectations and a first-class franchise like the Miami Heat. Not only did the Heat acquire Lowry in a sign-and-trade today, but they locked up Jimmy Butler for another four years and $184 million, setting up Jimmy to earn $50 million in 25-26 when he'll be 36 years old. For now, Butler's an incredible two-way player, one of the best in basketball. He led the Heat into the NBA Finals less than a year ago, but this past playoffs where the Heat were swept by the Bucks, the lack of ball handling around Jimmy started to bother him. Not to mention, the Heat made the finals before having the shortest offseason in NBA history, actually in sports history, so expect them to be a lot more refreshed next spring, especially because they'll have a floor general that the organization hasn't had in a very long time. I can't remember the last Heat point guard that was as good as Kyle Lowry, maybe Tim Hardaway. Oh, yes! 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 Your face! Lowry's savvy playmaking, his ability to work his way through the heart of a defense off the dribble, along with his pull-up three-pointers, should mesh fluently next to the ISO scoring and pin-down maneuvering of Jimmy Butler. Also, the pick and roll of Lowry and Bam Bam should be a sight to see. Lowry's one of the best lob passing guards in basketball, he has been for a while, and the springiness of Adebayo will make it easy for these two to benefit tremendously playing off each other. In Lowry's ninth campaign with the Raps, he had another solid year, averaging 17.2 points, 7.3 assists, and a steal per game, while shooting 43.6% from the field and 39.6% from three. He appeared in just 46 games as he dealt with some injuries and the Raptors struggled through a difficult 27 and 45 season. Norman Powell was traded to the Portland Trailblazers ahead of the 2021 trade deadline and all signs pointed to a move surrounding Lowry being dealt to a contender as well, giving him the chance to pursue a title. Instead, Toronto didn't find a deal they liked and decided against trading him, a surprise considering that Lowry chose to leave this summer. It's the end of a legendary era, but Lowry should have the opportunity to pursue a title in Miami while the Raptors retool around their young players. As I said yesterday though, I think this Raptors team is going to be decent next year. They'll be back in front of their home fans and Scotty Barnes should help them out a lot. From Miami's perspective though, Lowry's lateral quickness did slightly fall off last year, but his defense is still very solid and his offense is all-star caliber. It isn't shocking Lowry ended up with the Heat, given his longtime brotherhood with Jimmy Butler. Kyle Lowry should be an excellent fit alongside the talented core of Butler, Bam Adebayo, and shooters Tyler Harrow and Duncan Robinson, giving the team a starting point guard who looks to get everyone going from the opening tip to the final buzzer. When Lowry gets angry, he's the most dangerous. That's when he finds another gear, zones in, and doesn't let anyone stop him. 
You could tell that Kyle's mentality wasn't at its peak level last year because he knew the Raptors weren't talented enough overall to be too competitive. Lowry was counted on as the team's number one option last year, which forced him to overexert himself mentally and physically. In Miami, with the team already having the first and second scoring options in place, Lowry's comfortability and motivation will be at its peak level. Lowry's a clear upgrade on Dragic, making his signing a logical move for a Miami team that looks like a title contender with him in the fold. And if the Heat manage to also sign Lowry's best friend and former Raptor teammate DeMar DeRozan, they'll be a real threat in the East. But for next video shout out, let me know if the Heat are contenders with Lowry in the comments. This video shout out goes to Drew, who says Scotty Barnes over Jalen Suggs was the right decision for Toronto, giving an in-depth take on the mentality of both prospects and how Barnes fits with the Raps. The story is yours in Community Speaks. Leave your take on the question for next video shout out. This was D-Flow, and I'll see you next video.